We travel to North Carolina and visit one of the most visited state parks that includes a 19th century Civil War fort. Fort Macon has everything you need from the history, swimming, and hiking. Come join us as we look at the cost, trails, and fun things to do here at Fort Macon State Park. If we missed anything or you want to share your favorite things to do here at Fort Macon, let us know in the comments. Now let's jump into the video. Fort Macon is located on the Crystal Coast of North Carolina. The fort is located on the eastern end of Atlantic Beach. The cost to enter the park is free and open to the public daily from 9 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. The top three things to do at Fort Macon is visiting the historic fort, the beach, and hiking trails. During the summer months, they have Civil War reenactments, and we were lucky to arrive when they were doing a World War II firearm demonstration. Fun fact, Fort Macon is North Carolina's second state park and was restored by the Civilian Conservation Corps in the 1930s. It officially opened May 1st in 1936. At the outbreak of World War II, the U.S. Army leased the park and was occupied from December 1941 all the way to November 1944. One of the exhibits even showcased all the uniforms that occupied the fort. This was one of my favorite exhibits here at the fort. There's a wealth of history here at Fort Macon State Park. Built after the War of 1812 to defend the harbor, its main role was played out during the Civil War. It's a window to the past and not much has been done to change the character of the fort. The five-sided Fort Macon is constructed of brick and stone. We walked around admiring the arches and thick walls which are four feet thick. This will have protected the men stationed here from artillery fire. There's 26 falter rooms and you can join a guided tour led by park volunteers or check it out at your own pace. There's a printed guide at the visitor center if you wanted to check that out. There's five galleries that display the life and artifacts from a period of the fort's history. If you're looking to beat the heat or just brush up on your history, then check out these exhibits. After checking out the grounds, we head up to the top to see the cannons that surround Fort Macon. You will see multiple cannons on display and you get some amazing views of Atlantic Beach. Fort Macon is one of the best renovated forts in the country and worth checking out when visiting North Carolina. Now let's check out the trails that surround the fort. There is three trails here at Fort Macon and the first trail we hike is the Elliott Coos Nature Trail. This trail is considered moderate and connects the fort area with the swim beach area. The Elliott Coos Trail is perfect for anyone in your party as the ground is mostly flat. Before continuing on the Elliott Coos Trail, we checked out Yarrow's Loop Trail. This is a short quarter mile nature trail. It ends at the parking lot. If you want a nice spot to beach, then check out Yarrow's Loop Trail. This area of the beach is less crowded as some other spots and worth checking out. We continued on the Elliott Coos Trail and you hike along different ecosystems from the marsh, maritime forest, and some sand dunes. Half of this trail is shaded and the other half you are out in the open. Bring some sunblock and insect repellent to keep those mosquitoes off you. On this loop, you do get near the roads and one crossing the street to continue on the trail. You cross some bridges along the trail and listen carefully to the songbirds along the way. You can smell the red cedar trees and ocean breeze along this trail. This was a nice hike and I enjoyed hiking it with my folks. The last time I came to Fort Macon, I was 10 years old. It was nice revisiting Fort Macon and seeing the other activities of the park. Most of the trail is easy until you reach the dunes. This area has some elevation, but also the best views of Atlantic Beach. This wasn't on the trail map, but it's a point of interest of the park. Here lies the remains of a World War II bunker. After reading about the bunker, we sat here enjoying the views of the Crystal Coast. We continued on the trail to visit another point of interest of the park, the World War II gun emplacement. This was used to protect North Carolina coast from German U-boat. After reading some facts about the weapon, we walked over to Fort Macon Beach Trail. This trail is a 1.5 mile, one way. We saved this for last to cool off after some great hiking. If you're lucky, you might see some dolphins playing in the ocean. What did you think of Fort Macon State Park? It's rich with history and great trails near the beach. We want to hear from you. Have you traveled to Fort Macon before? Let us know in the comments your favorite North Carolina State Park or National Park. We love hearing from y'all. If you haven't already, give this video a like and subscribe to Mr. S Travel Quest and join us on our outdoor adventures. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.